Hey guys, welcome to the summer cupcakes. The first thing we need for this one is cupcakes and a knife. The knife is just to remove the top part because I want my cupcakes to be flat for this decoration. If you don't have a recipe, like a go-to recipe for your cupcakes, I do have the recipe on my channel. If you want to check it out, it's delicious. I'm then going to be using some tipless piping bags. I love these things. I use them all the time and I do have a review for this ones on my channel. But if you don't have them, you can use Ziploc bags as well. Now for the watermelon. And I'm going to start with this red that I'm using. It's called Tulip Red. I love that brand and I love this red. I'm going to be using whipping cream and I'm going to go all the way around my cupcake, but I'm not going to go until the edge. I'm just going to stop before. As you can see, I'm leaving a well, a tiny gap in between where I'm adding my whipping cream and where my cupcake ends. It's because I need that space and you're gonna find out why in a second. But I'm going to just fill this space with my whipped cream or frosting. And with my offset spatula, I'm choosing a kind of like small one on top towards the end rather um, and I'm just going to smooth the whole thing you can use a kitchen knife as well I'm just using this one because I have it and it's handy and yeah I'm just going to well flatten all my frosting or whipping cream until it's smooth as flat as I can make it once it's done I'm just going to go to with some plain white whipped cream and I'm just going to add the line right next to the red one actually two lines because one was not enough for me and then i'm just going to grab a toothpick and i'm just going to kind of like smooth the white so it doesn't look like two lines but it um, looks kind of blended then i'm just going to be taking some mint green so i'm just going to cover the corners of my watermelon cupcake until i'm done and then i'm just going to be doing the same thing that i did with the white one with my toothpick until it kind of like smooths the whole surface. I'm going to be using some black edible color. This is by Wilton. This is okay, but I prefer the other brand and the other consistency. This is more for writing, but I'm just going to add the seeds like so. Kind of like pushing towards the top of the seed and then dragging towards you. And then I'm going to grab my toothpick again and just going to, well, uh, arrange the whole thing as I want to keep it. And that's pretty much it for the watermelon. I think it looks super cute. Let me know in the comments below. Now for the strawberry. I love strawberries. I love all the fruits I've chosen, to be honest. I'm just going to start with a spoonful of uh, red whipped cream. And I'm just going to first, well, cover the whole cupcake with the, the spoon. And then with my spatula, I'm just going to smooth the surface. And this is honestly super easy, this um, cupcake. I'm just going to go with some jello sprinkles and I'm just going to arrange them. So these are the seeds and just arrange them wherever you um, want to have a, like a, a seed or a sprinkle on your cupcake. For my lips, I'm just going to be choosing a tip number 352. This is from Wilson. It's just a lip one, you don't have to use this brand. I'm just going to first practice my leaves in some plate and I'm just going to move on and add some leaves or some green on the uh, the top part of my strawberry. And this is how we see the strawberry and how cute it looks. Then for the pineapple, I'm just going to start with some lemon jello and I'm just going to start with the same thing that I did for my strawberry and I'm just going to flatten it. Sometimes things handier to just use a spoon and then go with a kitchen knife as well and just flatten the whole thing. Then I'm going to be using some chocolate brown and I'm just going to be adding some brown on the top for my pineapple. Pretty simple, just lines across the cupcake. First going one way, like so, and then going across those lines the other way. Pretty much this is super easy. And then I, I forgot to record this part, but it's pretty much the same thing as I did with the strawberries. And that's it for the pineapples. It's super easy and looks super cute. Finally, we're gonna be doing an orange. I'm going to be needing some orange for this. Again, doing the same thing with the spoon. And then going to go with some white whipped cream. Going across like that from one side to the other and then another line like that. And then adding some small lines from the middle towards the edges. Four lines like that. And then going around my orange like so. Then I'm going to add some dots 
towards the middle. You can use sprinkles if you want to, but I just wanted to go ahead and since I was working with the whipped cream, I just chose to have it this way. Then I'm going to be using some white sprinkles and I'm just going to sprinkle like the edges of my cupcake just to make it prettier. And this is pretty much it for the orange. So those are the summer cupcakes that I wanted to share with you. They are honestly super, super, super easy to make. If you want them to taste like the fruit they are, just don't forget to add some artificial flavor when we are working with the whipping cream. So I hope you like it. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. It helps a lot. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more stuff. And this could be a good idea for all summer parties or pretty much all year round. You don't have to wait until it's summer to enjoy this kind of cupcakes. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye guys.